All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do oh, I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is JH. How y'all doing, Postal family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool, clean, crisp? Are you feeling iry? USPS, change the culture. Get yours. Tina, video description. Also, please don't text her with questions from me because y'all be texting her and giving questions from me. Somebody text her. And gave the name of that lady than the other video that was acting out. Boy, y'all be on it, boy. Y'all be on it. I love how people share information. But today, I'm sharing some information with you guys. I write pigeon scratch. Anyway, uh, before I get into the video, uh, one of my people said, Hey, Jay, why don't you hold a contest? And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, your intro, we love it, but uh, why don't you hold a contest and see if anybody can do an intro for you? So here's my thing. Does anybody in uh, postal world know how to edit? If you can make me an intro, here are the stipulations. My information is in the video description you can email me and i will give you my phone number and somehow you can get me the uh, intro at that point what i'll do is i'll pick the top five intros and i'll put them out here for everybody to see and then we let people choose with the yes well you know if it's five i'll, I'll pick up number one number two number three number four number five and whoever they pick that's everybody else. That way there's no secrecy. Whoever they pick will be the one to get their intro on my channel. Now, uh, what's your inspiration? I have $100 for whoever gets it. And uh, it'll be wired to you directly. The moment you, and you know it's you because they, you know it is what it is. Your name will be next to it and uh, we'll take care of that. So I'm looking for somebody that does editing, that can hook me up an intro. I have one stipulation. You have to use my son's song, the one that's always at the beginning of this video. It's a personal thing for me. In about a year, you guys will understand what it's about. But until then, let's get to the video. Let's, let's get to the video. Any questions with that? An intro, however you want it to be. Obviously, involved in this, you could take pictures of other postal workers. You can use some of my own videos in there and just make small clips. Has to be between 35 and 45 seconds max no more than 45 seconds all right let's talk about retirement dates it's a boring topic but it has substantial significance to you guys this year because the new health plan is going to be kicking in next year and the majority of the people that are older will be retiring so that they can continue to have this health insurance that we have right now they don't want to get on that garbage that's coming up next year or they're just not sure of what that garbage next year is. I keep calling it garbage. It might be great, but a lot of people stuck on what they have and it might be a good thing. But let me give you the dates and why they're good dates uh, for the people that are retiring as well as why they may be good dates for you. A lot of people that are in the PTF status or not converted to career yet, it will happen as soon as this mass retirement kicks in. All right, there's a five dates, five for specific dates. I'm going to give you the dates and then I'll give you the reason why these dates are good. May 31st, June 29th, November 30th, December 31st, and January 11th, 2025. Okay, why? May 31st and June 29th, they're both end of the month and they're both end of the pay period, okay? As well as November 30th, they're all at the end of a pay period. Why do you want that? Because when you have the end of a pay period, you get to get all of your um, 
your sick leave and, and, and your annual, it all comes in at the chunk of the, in, in the end of the pay period. It's the end of the month, it's the end of the pay period. Now, December 31st is the end of the year and also the end of the month. Don't let me lose you here. January 11th, which is the next year, is the end of the leave calendar year and also the end of the pay period. You're probably wondering why the end of the pay period means so much. Because you don't get paid, you know, they front you annual time, right? Your sick leave and your annual leave accrues, but does not accrue until the end of each pay period. So if you leave halfway through the pay period, you're not going to get it means only maybe an hour or two, but who's going to throw that away? So why the end of the month? Here's the thing. Let's say you, you, um, FERS and federal employees, their pensions are payable the month after you retire. Okay. Here's some knowledge for you. So if you retire in January, it's going to get paid in February. If you retire May 31st, you're going to get it June 1st, one day over. People don't want to go a whole gap with a month without a pay. See how that works? That's why they go for the end of the month. The sick leave and the annual leave also accrues, but it doesn't accrue until the end of the pay period. A lot of people do not leave service in the middle of pay periods, right? Also, if you leave at the end of the year, which is December 31st, people gathering all that annual leave for the year, if you retire with the maximum amount of annual leave for the year, you know what the post office does for you guys. They cut you a check for a lump sum of whatever your annual is accumulated, right? The people that actually have a ton of sick leave, if you wait till the end of the year, not only are you still accumulating that annual leave throughout the year, you can utilize your sick leave to take your last three, four months off. That's what a lot of people do. When you start seeing people taking a lot of time off in big chunks and increments, that means they're getting ready for retirement. Maximum, maximizing your annual leave means that if you leave January 11th, which is technically the first paid new pay period, from the year before, now you get all of your annual leave. All right, that's that's that whole January. Um, it's the end of the leave calendar year, January 2025. Again, May 31st, June 29th, November 30th, and January 11th. All of those go together. And you wanna make sure that if you're leaving, you leave less of a gap. Less of a gap. May, June, November, and January. End of pay period, sick leave and annual leave accrues, and it doesn't accrue till the end of the pay period. I don't know if I'm speaking Spanish to some people, but people that have been there for a long time, there's a strategy to why they do these things. Now, if they do leave, and when they do leave, you'll just not see them there anymore. Some people don't give a damn about the place. You know that once an empty spot happens and they've done all their due diligence, they're setting up for their retirement behind the scenes without telling anybody, once that empty space comes available, they have to move somebody else up. And transportation, you got 20 PTFs that want to be full-time career, they have to move into it. They have, I believe it's, um, I, don't, I don't know the exact, uh, I think it's like 30 days to change it up and convert them or some silliness like that post a new position because the person's post a position available so if jim had route number 111 available they have 30 days to post that up 111 and at that point they have to convert there's gonna be a lot of empty um brackets when it runs there's always gonna be a lot of empty um bids available and that's when the mass conversions tend to happen in these specific times. Now, again, the reason they're going to uh, retire this year more than any other year is because the forced new health benefits that are going to be starting in January of 2025. You don't believe me? Just look it up. That's what I do. I, I read, I take notes, and I try to pass it on the best way I can. Sometimes it seems choppy when I talk about things and I try to break it down in layman terms, but a lot of you guys have asked these questions and 
sorry if something was wrong or misunderstood here, but this is a very complicated process. My mind says I know what it is, but sometimes I don't translate it as good as possible. Again, this is everything with JH. So you got to expect some different topics. But again, if you guys want to, you know, oh, the closing date for that little uh, contest that I'm putting out is going to be March 1st. OK, so y'all got from now to March 1st. Send me some intros. I'd like to see y'all creativity because I know we have some very creative people here. And um, I mean, $100 ain't a lot, but $100 is a lot for, you know, 45 seconds. Yeah, I know it takes a lot to put 45 seconds together. But yeah, the guy told me, he was like, yeah, you know what, you should do that. And I said, oh, yeah, it's a good idea, man, good idea. That way we engage, all right? Um, as far as the health insurance is concerned, I can't explain that. There's no way I can translate it, unfortunately. Um, I've tried many different methods of trying to write stuff down and try to figure out how to translate it. Because you're watching, you, 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 and you. Each individual that's watching receives information differently. I have to try to translate things so everybody can relate or understand it. And unfortunately, I don't have that skill. <laughs> Y'all gotta remember, I'm still just a truck driver uh, as much as you know, I tra try to translate some things. But eh. anyway, hopefully this information was helpful for somebody. And um, if it was, remember those dates, May 31st, June 29th, November 30th, December 31st, and January 11th. Those are the dates and the reasons why. And if for you in the future, remember that. Always pick a date at the end of the month so you don't leave no gap in your income. It only makes sense. If I retire on the 31st, the next month, I will automatically start getting my pension. It works for federal workers. All right? JH, and I'm out. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.